about the dangers of the bailout bill. Let's hear from Thaddeus McConnor. He's a Republican from Michigan with mainly one topic. Will there be political fallout if markets continue to tumble? So, Congressman, first of all, today's tumbling of the market. Did it surprise you at all? Well, I think everybody was, as the current report said, tense about the situation. We, at the time when the House first voted down the bailout package, were very concerned about the 700-point drop. And our argument then was not to precipitously judge the situation based upon the bailout, because the bailout was targeted at the credit markets. So it would be a mistake for opponents of the bailout to try to commit the same problem and conflate the two issues. But everybody is very worried about the market. We are glad to see it rebound from its low today. And hopefully, as we heard earlier, that it will start off a little slow, but will wind up up tomorrow. Representative McCotter, nice to see you again. Thanks for coming on. Tell us what you're hearing now from your constituents. Uh, are they coming to you worried about their own savings plans and their own uh, you know, money, financial concerns? I think that's what really resonates with most Americans. Yes, one of the problems with the way the entire Paulson bailout was presented was that it was the only option. And if you did not choose that option, there was no other way to have free market save itself. And what you're starting to see now is that allows people to conflate the passage of the Paulson bill with a panacea that will solve all the underlying problems in the economy. So once you let the panic out of Pandora's box and confuse the public and alarm them, they tend to have over heightened expectations as to what the Paulson plan will actually accomplish or not. When as even the supporters of the plan said it was an attempt at a short term stabilization that would not have an immediate impact on the economy. You know, Congressman, I got a simple question. What, is there is there going to be political fallout for folks who voted in favor of a bill that their constituents didn't want? I think that there's going to be fallout for those people because the intensity of the people who viewed the Paulson bailout is very high. The people who were panicked into supporting it by this administration and others are starting to sit back and realize maybe this was not the way it was billed and advertised to them. Because remember. Most Americans understood the central tenet of the Paulson plan was this. Responsibility is for working people, but not for powerful people. And that when powerful people act irresponsibly, responsible people have to bail them out or suffer the consequences. This is not the principle of the Republican Party. This should not be the principle of average Americans, and it should not have been codified into law. A, a, a number of Republicans, though, did vote for it. And on the Senate side, John McCain, of course, the presidential candidate, also urged people to vote for it because he felt that it was a necessity at this point. How does that make you now view the party itself and how do you take it and, and try and crystallize the efforts going forward? Well, a lot of members were put in bad spots. I believe that all members voted out of conscience. Remember, this was not a proposal that came out of the Congress. It was a proposal that was foisted upon the Congress by the administration that told people you will have, in the end, they said you will have no tax relief unless you bail out Wall Street. You will have no disaster relief unless you bail out Wall Street. So I think members will be judged in their constituencies whether they acted out of conscience or not. But in the long run, the argument that you have to abandon your principles and act expediently in a time of crisis is not what we're going to need to get through these difficult days and months ahead. You're also going to see that the majority of the Republican House voted against this proposal. And I think that that means that it is not the death of the Republican Party, it is the rebirth of the Republican Party as a more populist party in touch with Main Street, in touch with its fundamental principles. And I think it is from that premise that we go forward, because as you know, now that the government has its foot in the door of the free market, we are going to have to do everything we can to ensure that a new round of New Deal regulation and new round of socialism by the government that impairs the free market is prevented, lest it have even more grave consequences than that which we see today. Congressman, very quickly, I just got to ask you, if, if Hank Paulson comes to you with hat in hand for another bailout, uh, is anybody in Congress, does anybody there have the stomach uh, to give him more of what he wants? Well, I think Mr. Paulson would come after me with a big stick. I don't know that he'd come <laughs> with a hat in the hand. So, so let's, let's, let's just hope again. The opponents of this bill pray that it works. Although we expect that it won't, we still want to see it work because of the American people. We do not want to see them suffer. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter, on that note, thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Coming up next.